Morning guys, been out in Dumbarton Castle all morning, this is part 2 of the video We'll start off by showing you all the junk that I've dug out so far So, a fair amount of junk and in amongst the junk there seems to be good finds So I'm just going to keep going Any of you guys know what that is, let me know because I have no idea One of the things that I've just dug out There's an abundance of stuff just over to here So I'm just going to have a quick scrape in there And see if I can get any more finds and I'll get back to you guys in the first hit so here we are, some more signs, uh, another flax seal, and uh, look at that, it's a bit of an old tube, made of lead, a lead tube of cream, <laughs> that's pretty cool, uh, just going to continue in this area, scraping actually, tide's coming in so, but I'm having fine, you know, there's stuff just everywhere in amongst when you scrape, and uh, it's just your luck if you get it, Let's have a wee scrape here and see if we can find any goods. See what you see, all this heavy stuff, look at that. It's a lid to something. This is where your good finds should be, just in here. When you start finding your lead. You know, that's always a, a, a good indication. Of, there should be coins about here somewhere. It really is just finding them, you know what I mean? I mean, you could scrape for a while, find nothing, and then go bang right into a little spot, and then before you know it, you've got four or five finds. You should always check your pottery out as well, because that helps ID an area. Because if it's old or not. Well, there we go, there's the first find from that little bit of scraping I've done. There's another one. That's a coin that's out so far. There we go. Bit of a hair clasp, but it's always good when you see them, because generally there's more stuff in or around the area. See that's the thing you've got, you look with your eyes and you miss things. Pretty sure. Oh there's a coin. <coughs> Nearly missed out there. Nice little coin. What is that? Oh, I thought it was going to be silver, it's not. That's just an old school Elizabeth the second ten beds. Oh well. It happens, it happens. Right, let's see what else we can get. Oh, 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 I thought I was going to be silver as well. It's a part of a smash musket ball. That just goes to show there's bullets here. Right, anything else. Well, by the looks of things, there's not much else here. So, uh, I'll just carry on and see what else we can get. Oh, check this out. I've got a coin. Ooh, who are you? Oh, it's an old one as well. Oh my. Really? George the First? Is that George the First? Oh my God. Wow. It's not, it's William the Third. Oh, I thought that was George the First. Look at that, a George. Is it George the First? Oh, it says Gillivis, that's William. That is a William the Third penny. Woohoo! Oh, get in off the beach. Wow, I can't believe it. That is a little find and a half. I thought it was going to be George the First. That is definitely William the Third. Oh, wow. More medieval finds after finding that little communion total. A nice William the Third. Penny, woohoo! Focus. I actually thought this was part of a dress hook. So if any of you guys know what it is, it could be part of a dress hook. Look at the back. See how it cuts round. I thought it was part of a dress hook. If any of you guys know, let me know because I've no idea. Loads of coins, bale seals, and stuff coming out. So I just got to keep at it. The rain started and see what else we get. Well, I've just dug this up, and that's a nice. Uh, I think it's a George V penny. I'm just kind of walking about and having a wee scrape about <coughs> in some new areas. I'm still finding all the stuff that I should be when you see it there, the heavy stuff. You know there's coins and stuff in amongst it, it's just finding it. So guys, be scraping in this area for a wee bit, 20 pence. Then I get a, a nice penny. Then I get another 20 pence. I think I can maybe see a bit of silver. Five pence. And there is some kind of worn, bent up coin. 
that's older, that's either a penny or something older, no idea that, could be a farthing, looks a bit older, this here could be a wee bit of silver, is it or is it not, ah, that's the question, I don't know if these are or not, but I'll have to do the little acid test when I get them home and we'll find out. I've just found a nice big bit of glazed pottery, check that out, it's nice isn't it? Don't know what that was all for, maybe like a tile or a big flagon, an old half bottle, probably a body bottle, some jakey has been doing here, been at Yeehaw, big fire gun. <laughs> there you go, nice half bottle, so I'm just scraping about the foreshore, it's not easy now finding the spots because the tides came right in and knocked me out all the good spots, so I'll try for a wee bit longer and see what else we can find. Well, I've just been in here scraping about this iron, and uh, basically I've had a couple of little finds. Uh, a nice Martini Henry! Get in! Nice bullet Martini Henry, that'll start me off, I then got a two pence. And of course I then bagged another two pence. It's really hard work here. Definitely tell this has been done before, but what can you do? But I'll give it a go and see what you can get. So I've just had another couple of finds of smash bullets. You can see they've been pistol balls or musket balls. One, two, three, four. Generally you find them in fours here, so four musket balls. And I found another little penny. I'm ready for giving up now. I've had a couple of good finds, so I'll maybe move on and do a bit of magnet fishing somewhere. Because the tides knocked me out of all the good kind of spots. Well, I've just scraped a crusty coin out for just in here. No idea who that is. I think he's a George V Penny, but I'm not really that sure. There just seems to be loads of stuff everywhere on this beach. It's just a stone. You just got to keep your eyes peeled because it's here. It's just there's that much stuff that you can't pick it up with a detector. The detector just walks all over the top of it. The XP Dace does that because it discriminates against iron. And uh, basically when you walk over things with XP Dace on the beach, uh, there's clusters of things that it misses. So I'm just going to carry on scraping in this area. Hopefully we'll get something. There's a little crab. Oh, see if I can annoy him. Oh, Are you bastard, he bought me. <laughs> <laughs> he absolutely got me a beauty, man! Ah, <laughs> oh, man, what a whippet he was! Look at that, look! Get up, get up, get up! <laughs> well, I just dug this out as well, scraped out of the sand as well. Classical of the stuff you find here. That is a nice big free ringer bullet. It's close in that, a lot of this stuff washes in and out with the tides and then it gets stuck in here. A lot of people don't know that, a lot of people think they go straight out to the far out as they can get. Sometimes that's not the case, sometimes the bullets are really really close in here and that is just a little case of it, a nice free ringer bullet. Well I've just found another two coins, scraped them up, it's another 5p and a 20p, nothing too old. After getting that lovely medieval token and the William the Third. I'm pretty disappointed, but you know, all in all, it's been a good day. I don't know if that's pottery, and after finding that 5p and the 20p, that looks like a bit of glazed pottery. That could be really, really old, that by the way. I don't know whether to take it or not. Yeah, I'm going to take that. It could be a really old bit of glazed pottery. What you're witnessing just now is the tide fully coming in here after Martin Castle. That's not from a boat, that is the tide fully coming in. Stop about just at the front there. That's it, fully in. So, on that note, guys, I'm going to call it a day for this hunt. And uh, one of these things, I've been washed out my face. And I'll uh, maybe come back another day and do it again. Good luck, happy hunting. And I'll catch you guys in another hunt soon. Bye for now.